a lot of people forget about Avon as a perfume house in a way. Uh, Avon has been around for a long time actually, since 1886 I believe, and while they're not on par with, you know, perfume houses like Chanel or Creed or anything like that, they do, do still produce a variety of pretty good perfumes, one of which is Artisan's Santal Musk, right here. And the interesting thing about this, here's the bottle, and it, the interesting thing about this is that it is a unisex scent, so it's kind of, you know, very versatile, good for many things. And here's the bottle. See, arson. So, according to this card, it says that it has some Indian sandalwood, white musk, kind of infused. So, hopefully, it should smell pretty good. Out of the bottle, it is, it's not too strong, but I'll put it on my wrist here. So. So, right off the bat, there is... It's very light, surprisingly. I was expecting it to be... I don't know. More... Musky in your face. But this is... Surprisingly airy... And light. So, this fragrance came out in... 2020. So, a couple years ago. And... Uh, it has very few notes, and I think that's on purpose. It seems like the majority of these artisan uh, fragrances only have a couple of notes to them. The top note is Nashi Pear, and I have not heard of Nashi Pear uh, before having researched this perfume. So, it is an interesting fragrance. It's, uh, it does have that crispness of the pear, but uh, it's, it's very, very light, you know, almost a bit distant. Refreshing. The middle notes are mainly rose, and then base notes are sandalwood and musk. So, it's definitely surprisingly light. It reminds me a little bit of uh, Voyage del Miss. It's a, uh, that's another unisex fragrance. Very refreshing, very light, crisp. This is similar, but I would say it is a bit on the weaker side. It's more of an intimate kind of fragrance. Um, I imagine if you, you know, if you drench yourself in this, it would emanate a bit more, but just putting on, you know, a dab on the wrists like I have, it, uh, pretty much an intimate fragrance. It does kind of, you know, swish around in the air a little bit, but, uh, not, it's definitely not, uh, it doesn't produce a big cloud of fragrance, like uh, some perfumes that I that I've tried before. But and it is an eau de parfum. It says on the back. You probably can't see, but it does say eau de parfum, which is interesting to me because I would have guessed that it maybe was an eau de cologne or eau de toilette because it is just so very light and airy. Besides that, uh. I do like the combination of, well, first of all, the simplicity of this combination. It's definitely, you know, some perfumes go a bit overboard. They put a dozen notes in, you know, the top notes, base notes, middle notes. So y y y there's not really a need to put so many notes in. You can accomplish a lot just with, you know, a few main players. and. The main things that stand out to me, the pear, it adds a certain sweetness uh, to the perfume, but not too sweet. It's just a very kind of dry sweetness, almost uh, similar to a white wine. There is some sugar, you know, sweetness there, but it's mostly dry. Then there, the rose is pretty faint. I mean, it's there, but it's kind of buried under the pear. So you don't get too much of that. Uh, definitely not too rosy, not too floral or feminine or anything. Very, very neutral. Then the base notes, the, uh, 
the sandalwood and the musk, I would say the sandalwood is definitely there. It's stronger than uh, the musk. The musk is pretty faint. It's definitely not um, a very masculine musk. It's well, it does say white musk in uh, the description here. So white musk is generally pretty light. And uh, the sandalwood is very nice though. It does add a certain warmth to this otherwise very crisp and light fragrance. And my main qualm with it is that it's so light that it's definitely not going to be one of those perfumes that, uh, you know, is very long lasting. It'll probably maybe last five-ish hours, maybe even four hours. Um, if you put a lot on or if you keep reapplying it, obviously it's gonna last longer. But just one application, I don't think it would last too long. Um, it just is so airy, you know, it doesn't have that cling that uh, a lot of other like heavier perfumes have. But this is a very, very good option for casual wear for the daytime for you know just going out and uh, I would say that it's good a good option probably for throughout the year you know I can't really think you know whether it'd be oh this is good for winter or this is good for summer I would say this is good for every season you know it's just a very uh, all-purpose very versatile sort of fragrance and it is definitely unisex, you know, there's nothing that would skew it to, uh, you know, there's not any strong florals, not any strong musks. It's mainly just a refreshing, crisp uh, sort of scent. And it is definitely appealing to both men and women. And there is a certain spiciness to it that reminds me a little bit of... Uh, saffron notes. There is no saffron in this, but it's probably the sandalwood, you know, it does have a certain warmth that's almost spicy, uh, but there are no actual notes of spice in this, but this is definitely a very natural, aromatic, uh, you know, you can imagine yourself standing in a forest somewhere with, you know, sandalwood and leaves and maybe some pears, you know. But I quite like this, except for the fact that it is a bit on the weaker side. Um, but if you prefer fragrances that are naturally more airy, you know, not too intrusive, not too in your face, then this definitely would be a good option. It's very, you know, it's just like a whisper of a fragrance. So and it's just refreshing. You can't really go wrong with it. It, uh, it's a pretty unoffensive fragrance, you know. I, I can't really think of any particular note that this has that a person might not like. Pretty, uh, you know, general and pleasing to the nose. So, other than that, that's pretty much what I have to say about uh, Artisan Santal Musk. The, the name is quite nice, Santal Musk. It has a, ri a ring to it. But other than that, uh, that's all I have to say. If you have any opinions on this particular fragrance you can leave those down in the comments below if you like the video leave a like maybe subscribe and i make videos throughout the week so stick around for those